Thought I'd chill out for a bit and play some Stranded Sails Explorers of the Cursed Islands. I played for a bit, and we're going to start a new character. I think I'm going to call her... Carrot? Oh, wait. The... Carrot. There we go. And we're going to start our adventure. Ooh. Hello world. Today is the big day. We're going on a great adventure. On a voyage to the other side of the big ocean. To the place of wild forests and frozen glaciers. You also had this weird dream last night. Something about an exotic island and a talking parrot and a shipwreck washed ashore? Ridiculous. Could could it have meant something? You're you're not sure. Oh, what's that? I know from your father. You should read it. Good morning, my child. I hope you had you've had a good sleep and are well rested for our great journey. The crew and I are making preparations at the docks. Come as soon as you can. We would not want to leave without you. P.S. I've left you a backpack as a late birthday present. I've packed it with some essentials for the journey. Make sure you bring it with you. P.P.S. Do not bother with any of our furniture. The future owners will surely want to keep them. Oh, that's so kind. I already played a bit, so I know exactly where the backpack is. And out into the wide world! Yeah! And we're here at the docks. Hello, father. <coughs> Ahoy, carrot, my child! It's great to see you! I hope that your last night in your old bed was a good one. A strange dream, you said. How peculiar. Well... Don't think about it too much. Ho <laughs> ho! When I was young, I had a lot of wild dreams too. Let us look forward to our great voyage. To the snow-covered mountains and forests on the far side of the ocean. Are you ready for this grand adventure? Yeah, let's do it. Ho oh, ho! Great to see you're excited as I am. We're almost ready to leave. Please, my child, bring your backpack to our cabin and return to me. I have one last task for you before we set sail. Into the cabin. Let's go! Yee! Oh, should I put it on my bed? Yeah. I remember this. Nice and easy. Save. All right. Now let's talk to Charles. Where are you, Charles? There you are. <coughs> oh, great carrots. Now I have everything together except for one very important thing. We need a barrel of apples from the warehouse behind the ship. What would you do on such a long voyage without some juicy apples to keep us fresh? Be so kind and load one into our barrel, one of the barrels into our ship. My child, our ship, child. I need to talk, I'm going to talk to them later, so I'm going to ignore them for now. And get right onto the ship. Where is it? There it is. And please. Charles again. Hello, Charles. <coughs> Thank you for loading the barrels, my child. Now everything is prepared, and we're ready to leave. Let me inform the crew. All hands on deck. Prepare to lift the anchor. Carrot, my child. It is time. You may cut the lines so we're able to leave the city once and for all. Actually, leave me behind. I'd rather die of the plague. Than get stranded on Desert Island, would you? Goodbye, father. Hello, child. <coughs> Thank you, my child. Fritz and Logan are preparing to lift the anchor. But please, Carrot. You are light and nimble. Perfect fit for tasks up on the masks. Masts? Would you climb the rigging and lower the sails for me? Start with the sail behind me and work your way to the front. I'll do it, but not because you asked me to. Just because I'm a little, little bit of a skywag. I did it, Charles. I don't call you father because you adopted me. I'm coming up with that law. Thank you, my child. Let us say farewell to this grey and narrow city. Soon we'll be on the high seas, sailing towards our destination, into a better future for both of us, and a life full of opportunities. Nice. Father? Ahoy, my child. The weather is looking good. We seem to be on the right course. There's not much to do except enjoy the breeze. 
a great opportunity for you to learn more about the crew. I'm sure they'd also love to talk to you. Please, my child, be so kind and visit each of them for a small chat. All right, first up, we got Logan. Huh? It's you, Kara. There's just about as much room on this ship as there was in the city. Not enough. We're just about halfway there, so I uh, guess I'll live through it. When we've arrived, the first thing I'll do is look for a remote spot and build a shack just to enjoy the freedom. Fiona, the farmer. Hi, Carrot. This weather's gorgeous, right? The salty breeze, the blazing sun are just perfect. After losing my farm to the factories from the city, I'm so excited about the chance to start over somewhere else. I'm glad I've met you here on board, Carrot. And we've got to talk to the chef. Yeah. Salsi, Sally, Sal, Sal, Sally. Bonjour, Carrot. What do you want from me? I know what I'm about. Well, I need to find new things to use in my kitchen. Find new exciting recipes to impress the world with. Does that answer your question? Not really. Great. Could you leave me alone then? I have some more things to prepare, be prepare before arrival. Hey! Hey, Sven. Oi, you land lover. Hope you don't mind me calling you that. <laughs> I'm going to forget all these voices by the time I talk to them next time. This ship's a beauty, isn't it? Can you feel how smooth it rises on the waves? So graceful. Who built this ship was a master of his craft. I dream of being able to create such a masterpiece one day. Fritz. Can't even see what you look like from here. What's up? The sun's blazing, man. Hope it doesn't burn my home. My dome. I really don't want to damage my grey matter from sunstroke. Carrot, I was wondering. Could I keep up with the ship's speed while swimming? Hehe. <laughs> Definitely. Too risky to try, even for me. We, I would just resort to trying to fish in the big sea with a monster fishing rod. Hey, <laughs> Teresa? Hello, my dear. It's so nice to see you. I was looking forward to our time on this ship. Silence, only you're interrupted by the sounds of the wind and waves. It's really relaxing. I will miss your warm clothes once we arrive, my dear. You've grown up so much since we last met. I could really see you following in the footsteps of your dear father. Oh, carrots. I'm getting all sentimental again. Why don't you talk to the others while I reminisce about old times? And we got the blacksmith. Brenda! Good day, Carrot. It's nice to see you around here with us on this adventure. I really miss swinging my hammer. I miss the melody of the steel hitting steel, sparks flying, and the heat of the forge. Carrot, one day I'll be back at it. I forged the most delicate tools and weapons. I would even try it on this ship. If I was not sure your father would throw me over the railings. Ha! Father! I've done it! Oi, my child! I see you getting along well with everyone in the crew. That is great. I'm sure even Sil 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 will talk to you once more when we arrive. Wait, what was that? A colourful bird? I don't see it anymore. It must have landed somewhere on the ship. Check it out, Carrot. Maybe you can catch it. Well, I know exactly where it landed because I'm a genius. Here it is. Hello, bird. Hello, parrot. This is the bird. A parrot? It reminds me of the bird I saw in my dream right before we left the city. Although, this one doesn't seem to talk. It looks at me, curious and excited. Something happened. It beats its wings and becomes agitated. Oh no! To deck! To deck! Everybody hide! Or we're gonna die! Ahoy, my child! Have you managed to get a hold of that bird? Oh, it flew away. Well... I'm sure as of why. As you've noticed, the weather's taken a turn for the worse. And that bird flew off somewhere, which means there must be land nearby. That would be good news. We weren't supposed to see land in about two weeks. I hope we didn't go off course somewhere along the way. Also, the storm's gathering right above us, which makes me very anxious. Quick, Carrot. Go and seek shelter in our cabin. Yes, Father. I like how you brought two beds. For all of us. Bit rude. The storm intensifies, trying to tear the ship apart. Powerful waves toss it around like a nutshell. Planks are creaking, ready to burst. Finally, the ship crashes against something massive, and blackness prevails. And we've landed on the island. Wake up. Ugh. What happened? The last thing you remember is you falling and then breaking through the waves. You're so exhausted. What might have happened to your father and the crew? You should investigate the island. Maybe you can find them. Sven! I knew you were alive, buddy! Hey! Oh, hi, Carrot. Father's right to see you laying over there. 
Sorry if I didn't help you, I only just got up myself. I'm sure you noticed this as well, but uh, wherever we are, it doesn't seem like the place we're heading out for. It's a little too tropical for a snow-covered tundra. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm dizzy. My head feels like a cracked walnut. You don't look so good either. You should eat an apple from that barrel over there. You'll feel better. Ah, the barrels they brought. Hey. Smart. You look a lot better. I told you the apple would help. Good thing we took that barrel with us. <laughs> Always beware of your energy, Carrot. We wouldn't wait to pass out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh, my head still hurts. I guess something hit me when we crashed. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just like you, I have no clue what happened to the others. I can see that big part of our beautiful ship stranded on the island next to us. Our best bet is to find the others would be to get over there and check it out. We should try building a raft to get us across the deep water. How about I gather some of those shredded planks around here, or you look for the other stuff we need. We need a sail, a mast, and something to tie it all together. I'm sure you can find something useful in this clutter. Let me eat some more apples. Gotta get that energy up. Nom 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 nom. Dirty rope. Acquired. Broken mast. Acquired. Oh, you can zoom in. And last but not least. Broken mast. Acquired. Hey! You alright, buddy? Hey, landlubber! Great, you found all the parts. Ugh. Oh man, my head really hurts. I still can't really see straight. I think we'd be better off with you assembling the raft. I don't want it to look all crooked and such. <laughs> Ugh. I'll put some rough instructions on that pile of planks. I think I'm sure you'll figure out how to put that thing together. I impressed you with a table and found a hammer. But okay, let's make it. Build. Perfecto, let's go, Sven. <laughs> Oi, land lover, that's a fine looking raft you built there. Hope it's not just because my eyes aren't working right. <laughs> let's see if that thing's solid enough to carry us to the other side. Jump on the raft and we'll be off. Yep, there's nothing else to silence, so let's get out of here. <laughs> oh my, what a ride. Your raft sure wasn't the sturdiest, but at least we made it. Although, the rough journey didn't do anything good for my head. I think I'll stay here for a while and try to recover. Why don't you try and find the crash part of our beautiful ship? Maybe there's someone or something left. I'll be right here if you need me. Ah, the ship. I found it. Father, are you in here? Father! True. <coughs> Ahoy. Ow. Ahoy, my child. It warms my heart to see you alive and well. After our unexpected misadventure, I can only hope for your well-being. I was a little worried about our course when we were on the high seas, and it seems there was reason for it. This place we stranded on does not look like the frigid landscape we wanted to end up in. Well, Carrot, I think that should be the least of our worries right now. It seems the crew has been split up, and as you see, ugh, I have not emerged unscathed from this unfortunate event either. So don't worry, Carrot. My old burned bones have seen worse. A few days of recovery and I'll be back on my feet. Fiona will make sure of that. Oh, you brought Sten with you? That dickhead. Oh, that's, uh, oh, that's uh, great to hear. Great to hear. I'm sure sooner or later we'll have the whole crew reunited. That's uh, wishful thinking there, Charles, but I bet you're right. You look tired, which is no surprise. You've earned yourself a good nap. Use the other bed and get some rest. Don't worry, Fiona will take care of Sten and me. Yes, the only other bed on the ship. The other people just slept on the floor or outside. Yes, oh wait. Oh hi, my child. You, uh, you look well rested. Sleeping will restore your energy. Whenever you feel exhausted, you should eat or take a nap. It seems that we are stuck on this island for a while. Before looking for the others, we have to make sure that we can survive here. We'll need a room to live and a steady source of food. I sent Fiona to check the surrounding area. It should be usable. She'll be looking for usable farming ground there too. Would you mind going and seeing if you could help her? I'm not sure if she's able to do hard work with the arm of hers. Although, that's not the actual goal of our great voyage. I'm certain everything will be fine in the long run. If we stick and work together, anything's possible. We'll be able to leave this place and reach our final destination. That I'm sure of. Now go, Carrot. Help Fiona with the first step of our endeavor and meet her at the campsite. Set up a campsite just in the evening. That's impressive. After I've gone to sleep, maybe I slept a long time. Hey, son. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Hey, landlubber. Fiona picked me up at the beach. 
It's great to see her again. She's waiting for you over there in the field. She said you'd, she'd look for a great spot to establish camp. Talk to her. I'm sure she has something for you to do. Yo, Fiola, baby. I'm up since the first sunlight. I'm so excited. Even if it's not the raw wilderness we set out for, I'm just so happy to be standing on a field again. It seems we'll be staying on this island for a while. This means we'll need farming ground as a steady source of food. Unfortunately, I can't set up myself because of my arm, you know. I was able to salvage some tools that we brought, though. These will come in handy with our new enterprise. Would you mind helping me with the farming ground? I promise you'll feel good after a long day of work with your bare hands. The sun warms your skin and a fresh breeze roughens up your hair. Sounds wonderful, right? Eee. It's great that there's someone like you I can count on. Please, take this shovel. Use it to prepare a few fields so you can plant some corn. I fenced off some of the fertile ground for you already. Carrot, keep in mind that digging is hard work and it will cost a lot of energy. Yeah, let's, let's dig some holes. Prepare three nice holes. Done. Woohoo! This marks the first step in establishing our own little camp. Now it's time for you to sow the first seeds. Luckily, I managed to keep some of my seeds on me during the shipwreck. Here, take these corn seeds. They'll keep us fed once they're ready to harvest. Sow them on the field and prepare. Will do. So, Great job, Carrot. It looks like you have a green thumb. Next thing to do is water the sprouting crops. Take this bucket. You can use it to gather fresh water from the spring over there. Carry the filled bucket over to your crops and water them. I can do that. I'm not so useless. Got it. Three. You did it. Well done, Carrot. Always remember, your crops will grow and ripen as long as they have water. If the soil below them looks dry, they need more water. Most crops can go a few days without, but they'll die if you don't take care of them for too long. Now, what we can do here is wait for the corn to ripen so you can harvest it. We should use this time to set up a cooking station, cook for food. We also need something for the rest of us, but we can take care of that later. Sun told me you have talent in building things. That's great. Would you help me setting up their cooking station? I made a list of things we need for a proper kitchen. I've seen many of the utensils we've brought with us scattered around the beach. I'm sure you'll find things we need down there. We should explore a tiny bit. I'll prepare the found foundation of the cooking station while you're searching. I'll do it, but not because you asked me to. Because I'm hungry. Well, there you go. Nice cooking pot. That'll be useful for our corn. Oh, roast and pan. Perfect. And my and last but not least, some cooking utensils. Maybe down this way. Kind of feel like it's not going to be down this way. But I do seem to remember there being some useful things this way. But let's explore the beach. Oh, found a box. Yeah, got some tomatoes. Ready to prep for some things later on. Ah, nothing up here. Must be back on that main beach. That makes sense. Where are you cooking utensils? Cooking utensils? Well, that's a, a wood saw. That's not exactly what I want. We've got some tongs. That's definitely not what I want. And we've got a hammer over here. I feel like I've overextended and missed the cooking utensils. Let's go back. Cooking utensils. I don't want to collapse. Are you here? Yes. Cooking utensils. Perfect. Don't want to collapse before I get there, though. Now let's make... I found all the necessary ingredients. And let's build it. Yes. Talk to you later. Yo. Hey, Carrot. The cooking station looks great now. Good job. Now you only need to produce something to cook with. Check on your crops and harvest them when they're ripe. If not, well, you have to kill some time. You gotta explore the beach further, but be careful not to go too far away. You might get lost like the others, and we wouldn't want to lose you again, would we? Right, well, I'm gonna dig some more holes for my tomatoes. I don't wanna collapse, though. Gotta be careful. I know I'm dying. Right, off to bed. Oh, will I make it in time? I'm pretty sure I'll make it in time.
Perfect. I've slept, so presumably my corn will be ready. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my tomatoes aren't ready yet. My corn is definitely ready. Copper corn. Booyah. Oh, carrots. Those coppers look great. It's an awesome feeling to hold something in your hands that you have earned all by yourself, right? I just love this feeling. That's why I became a farmer. Now you're ready to put, put that on the cooking station to good use. Try it. I'll show you how to cook corn on the cob. Thanks for the recipe. Let's make some corn on the cob. Well, actually, cancel. But I know, I already know you can try and learn recipes. So let's see if I can learn an interesting recipe right away. Discover. Stop around. Discover. Corn filled tomato. Look at that. Beautiful. I need to do some corn on the cob though. For the mission. Presumably three. Yeah. Gotta do the mission first, more important. Yum. I don't need need it, but for the mission. It's delicious. Oh carrot! I can smell the deliciousness from here. With such tasty food in your bags, you can be more confident while exploring. If you'd like energy, just take a bite and you should be able to continue for a while. I'm excited to see what else you'll cook from other ingredients. Should you find some on your further exploration trips, you can show, new show me new recipes and discover your own. Your father will want to know about the recent achievements, Carrot. Go and visit him in the cabin. Father, I've grown corn in a day and tomatoes almost. I'm doing great. Are you proud now, father? Ahoy, my child. Did it go well with Fiona at the campsite? Oh, Carrot, that is extraordinary. You managed to set up a farming ground and a cooking station. I'm so proud of you. As a father, it's great to see you grow and succeed. I'm looking forward to what this adventure has in store for all of us. But especially for you. One day you might be able to take care of your own crew. Ugh. My child. I think you'll have to represent me for a little while. The extent of my injuries is larger than I anticipated. I'll manage, I have no worries. You just need to be there for a while while I'm tied to this bed. Take this map, my child. If I'm not mistaken, it represents exactly what island we're on. I found it between my old souvenirs. Do not ask me how I got it, I cannot remember. <laughs> Use it to navigate the unexplored and quickly return to our campsite. But please, Carrot. Never leave the campsite unprepared. Keep your bags with food and use it to stay active on your trips. This island seems to be of enormous size. It's not unlikely that the rest of the crew have been washed ashore. Please, my child, bring me my crew back. Well, we've got an old map now, so we can have a look. We're on this island. Let's go discover some more of this island. <laughs> 